the Joe Rogan experience. You're a very articulate guy, and I'm sure a lot of these people are not very educated, so the continued exposure to you is probably confusing to them as well. Because you're so good at forming sentences and speaking and calm and... You, you know, the words flow so smoothly out of your mouth and you have these wonderful, this wonderful grasp of the English language. They're probably <laughs> like, fuck, I think this guy might be smarter than me. <laughs> that but, but that now, had to help. But let me say something, though. Don't be fooled. Um, you know, we, we think of, of uh, clan people, and I say we, I just, you know, people in general, because most of our exposure to it. Is, is like the Jerry Springer show right. or Geraldo where they throw chairs. Stereotype. Yeah. yeah. Third grade dropout right. kind of thing. Caricatures. Yeah. And those are the types that, you know, that they would bring on the show for whatever reason. Um, and I know plenty of those types, trust me. You know, those stereotypes do exist. Um, but they can go anywhere from third grade dropout all the way to president of the United States. President Warren G. Harding was sworn into the Ku Klux Klan in the green room of the White House. Whoa, what year was that? Whatever year he was president. So it was post-65. Oh, well, yeah. 1865. It's was the 1920s, right? Wasn't he, wow. was he with the uh, uh, T, with the, T dome, the dome, whatever it was? Um, uh, president Harry Truman. Before Harry Truman became president, he was a member of the Klan for a short what? time. That's right. Harry Truman, who, who integrated the army. All right. He, wow. He joined for a short time. He didn't like it. He got out. Um, Supreme Court Justice Hugo Black. Hugo Black was in the Klan at the time he was appointed to the Supreme Court. He had to leave the Ku Klux Klan to sit on the, on the Supreme Court as a justice. Uh, more, more recently, um, Senator Robert Byrd from West Virginia, who just died a few years ago. He was a Klansman in the 1940s. He, he was a Grand Klegel. Klegel means uh, recruiter. Grand means state. So he was a recruiter for the uh, state of, of West Virginia, a Grand Klegel. In the 1940s. Mm-hmm. And then you know, he later renounced it and stuff. Yeah. So, you know, all kinds of educational backgrounds. Particularly a long time ago. Um, yeah. 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 I mean, it, it was considered the... Uh, an honorable white man society. At the time, you know, they didn't allow women in the Klan, and they had uh, women's auxiliaries. Now they allow women, but women, there's still a male chauvinistic organization. So women are making progress, even in the Klan. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, 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 um, they, they cannot hold the highest offices. They can't be a, a, a grand dragon or dragoness. When did you start all this? What uh, year was it? You know, I started, uh, uh, you know, meeting them and all yes, that, yeah. or, or researching them. Just when 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 did you start meeting them? When did you when did you have this meeting? Actually, the first the first friendly meeting that I had with with the clan was um, the, in the bar. That was 1983. But um, so my that, first encounter with the Klansman was like the year before, and I didn't know he's a Klansman. I beat him up. Oh, so this but the bar thing was in '83. Yeah. I was wondering if it was. Pre or post the Dave Chappelle bit? Uh, but, pre, pre. Yeah, <laughs> that's why. You know, and, and, and what's funny is, you know, everybody asked me, you know, you know, did you see that you know, Clayton Bigsby or whatever it's yeah, called? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, they, they think it's hilarious, but I'm going to tell you something. It's not hilarious. Okay, Dave Chappelle, uh, he, he's a comic genius. He's great. Okay, and perhaps if I had never done what I've done, I'd find a lot of humor in it. Yeah. Um, but I tell you what. He's never been to a Klan rally. I have. I've been to plenty of them. Those things are not funny. They are not funny. Okay? They are a pressure cooker waiting to go off. And if that valve is not really, you know, released, it's going to explode. And we saw that in Charlottesville. Well, you know that he, his joke was oh, yeah, how, yeah. in how ridiculous it was. Yeah, absolutely. No, no, no. Guy I'm not faulting blind, him. Yeah, I'm not faulting know him. He was black. Yeah. Right, exactly. I understand what you're saying. From your perspective, it's not funny. Yeah, right. yeah, you know, I mean, yeah, I mean, there's humor in everything, but uh, but you know, we shouldn't take take racism. You know, um, we, we need to take it more seriously than we do. 